as women, we sacrifice a lot to get to where we are and just taking pieces from that story, from those beautiful stories and identifying them with Ariel's world. Hi, I'm Hallie. So the original tale of The Little Mermaid is about the courage of coming out and queer love. But it's clear watching the remake that it also really resonates, I think, with a lot of black women today as well. And there's a lot of parallels with Ariel's story and being a black woman. So could you tell me what experiences you put into that role to make it resonate with black women? Yes, wow, well, thank you for that question. Um, I feel like I really tried to bring a lot of myself to this role of who I am as a young black woman. I think that, you know, being the age of, what, 19 when I got the role, and now I'm 23, and I, when we were filming, I was turning 21. When you're still so young, you're like, what's going on? Who am I? You're still finding all these elements and pieces of yourself. And I think that, you know, Ariel takes you on a spiritual journey of this transformative experience of finding yourself and what it means to be a young woman and what it means to go after the things that you want in life and how hard that can be and how terrifying and scary and the sacrifices that you have to make to ultimately get there. So I think that as a young black woman, I was really trying to take the examples of you know my mother and my grandmothers and see all that they have risked and done to get us here as a family. Um, um, and see that as women, we sacrifice a lot to get to where we are and just taking pieces from that story, from those beautiful stories um, and identifying them with Ariel's world. I think I really just tried to do it in that way. Thank you for such a beautiful answer. I was going to say, I was like, <laughs> I literally was like, that was like, I, I, was, I was like, you can't start crying when Hallie's answering your question. Like, That'll be so weird. <laughs> I was like, God. <laughs> Um, Melissa, I had a question for you. So Ursula is obviously famously based on Divine, famous drag queen. Yes. We love drag queens at pedestrian TV. And I wanted to ask if you had any specific drag queens that you watched, hung out with, talked to that maybe helped the performance? I I have always, since my, my early teens, I'm a huge fan of drag. Mm -hmm. I've seen drag since I was in high school. I It's one of my favorite art forms. It is this unbelievable, performance of being able to do an homage to a certain type of woman at the same time you're ske skewering them. It's funny, it's self-deprecating. It's so, it's like there's so many things going on at once and it's also like just putting it all out there and, and being like, you can interpret me any way you want, but this is what I'm presenting, which is just something I, as a performer, but also as a human that I just love when someone's like, this is who I choose to be. And I'm like, it, if we just all did that, the whole world would be better because everyone would be happy. And it's to, to be able to keep the divine in it. Who's a, I'm a huge divine fan, but every beautiful drag, funny drag show I've ever seen, it's like, I think I'm, I'm a little bit of a collector. <laughs> I see things, and I'm, or maybe I'm a thief. I don't know, but <laughs> when I really see something I love and I'm so dazzled by, I think I always am like, put that in my pocket, and then I'll put this in my pocket, and this, and it's like I'm the sum of all these... Uh, parts and I got my start in stand-up and I didn't I couldn't go on stage just myself I was just too nervous I also didn't understand how to do it I was like I don't understand how to tell try to entertain people as my as me mm -hmm. I like I literally couldn't figure out the math but then I was like oh but I know how to do it if I do it in drag so for me I did Miss Y mm -hmm. huge red wig like create like really fun clothes and I could take on this persona and all of a sudden I could interpret my stories through this prism of someone else and I could do it and I had confidence in doing it and I knew exactly how I wanted to do it. But so it's like truly drag gave me my start because it gave mm -hmm. me the, the confidence and, and the, the tools to be like, I mean, this is why drag exists. Mm -hmm. It's because you can say things that you can't say just as yourself. 